Hello folks, welcome to our channel. In today's demonstration, we are going to see how to use the ECR credentials helper. When you're trying to push images from your Docker host into ECR, one of the foremost things that you would do is getting the access tokens so that you can push your images into the ECR registry. One drawback with this method is that the entire command, the login, the password, everything is on the command prompt and anybody who has access to the Docker host will be able to get the password as well. In addition to that, the entire password is stored as a base64 format in the Docker host itself. It is in the particular location. I'll show you where it is. So anybody having access to the system can go ahead and check that location and get the password token also. Instead of having this weak security, how we can avoid this scenario. This is where AWS Credentials Helper comes in. All you have to do is install this Credential Helper into the Docker host machine. Then automatically the, your credentials that is either configured as an IAM role or as an access key secret key that is configured in your account will be leveraged. So I'm going to show you an example where your Docker host is configured with a credential store and then you can push images into ECR or pull images through your ECR using the credential helper itself. This is the repository that we are going to push or pull images from. We are in the Frankfurt region and my repository is called as predict attire for weather. As of now, you can see here there are no images. So we are going to push some images into this repository using the first method that is with the docker login command. Here I have two different docker host machines. The first one I'm calling it with shell credentials where we are going to use the docker login command and I have one more docker host connected and we are going to use the credential helper. So let us go ahead and try the first one and you can see here there are two images that is predict attire for weather version 0. If I want to push this v0 image into ECR the first step is going ahead and getting the credentials just going to get the credentials here once I execute it if my login is succeeded I will be getting a prompt saying login succeeded but at the same time you also see that there is a warning you see password is stored in unencrypted format in this location. Another developer or another malicious user is having access to this host all they have to do is just go to this location and open this file they will be able to get access to the base64 encoded password this is the encrypted authentication token and they will be able to pull and push images into the repository i'm going to add another tag for this particular image and i'm going to push this layer into the repository now so this is how we add another tag if i go ahead and execute docker images you can see here there is one more tag called as v1 is added let us push this layer into the repository now now my layer has been pushed but you see here the whole problem with this is the token is visible in the screen you can go ahead and access it so we don't want to do this so how we can avoid this if i go to my credentials helper this is another docker host i am in this location where usually the config file stored as of now i don't have a config file here i have configured aws access keys and secret keys we are just going to configure the credential helper we are going to install it this is an amazon linux machine if you are using ubuntu or mac there are different steps to install them i'll put the link in the description so that you can go ahead and install the credential helper for your operating system in amazon linux all you have to do is m install amazon ecr credential helper and it is going to install the package if it is already there it is going to say that nothing to do but if it is not there it will just go ahead and install it now this is installed the next step is configuring the credential helper using the config file I'm going to create a config.json file here we just need to add a couple of lines here this is the only line that you need to add in this file. Let us go ahead and save this. Now my Docker can leverage the credential store that is the access key and secret key that is in the server or an IAM role that is attached to the server and it will be able to push and pull images into the repository. Since for easier usage, I've used the access key and secret key, but in production, I would highly recommend you to go ahead and use an IAM role. So let us go ahead and add another tag as V2 and then let us push that and go to the console and check it out. Let's add the tag. The tag is added. So we can verify the tag has been added as version 2 here. I'm going to push version 2 into my ECR repo now and that is also pushed. Let us get back to our AWS console. So we should be able to see two images, one which was pushed from the docker login command, another one which was pushed from the credential store. The first one is v1 and the second one was v2. Let us go ahead and see both are there. It is as simple as that. It is an additional step that you need to configure in the config file and you have to create the IAM role and attach it but it's really secure other developers don't have to worry about leaking their credentials to a malicious user go ahead and try the credential helper in your account if you have any problems put them in the comment section thanks for watching happy learning